Unit 3, Week 2, Starry Night. The essential question is, what can we see in the sky? Read about what happens when two girls look for the Big Dipper. Josie and Ling were good friends. Ling was happy Josie was her neighbor. Josie was happy Ling lived nearby, too. Josie and Ling couldn't wait for the school day to end. They planned a sleepover at Josie's house. They were going to sleep in a tent in Josie's backyard. As the class was leaving, Mr. Cortez said, Your weekend homework is to look at the nighttime sky and explain what you saw on Monday. The class grumbled. Why the unhappy sounds? Mr. Cortez asked. It will be fun looking at the night sky. The girls arrived at Josie's house and were delighted to be sleeping outdoors. Josie said, I'm so happy that we get to sleep in the tent. It will be lots of fun. Then Ling said, I'll get the sleeping bags and flashlights. I brought flashlights so that we can play games in the tent. Josie's dad poked his head inside the tent. Girls, it's a good time to do your homework now because it is getting dark, he said. Aww, they both complained. Dad, said Josie, do we have to now? Yes, I already set up the telescope. Ling said, I hope this won't take too long. Josie looked up and spotted a crescent moon. Did you know the moon's light comes from the sun? said Josie. It's funny that it's called moonlight. Yes, said Ling, who was still thinking about playing in the tent. Josie's dad smiled at the girls and said, See the stars in the sky? Those points of bright light can form shapes. You can see the Big Dipper he said. It's a group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky. Josie's dad showed her how to look through the telescope. Wow, that's more stars than I ever dreamed of. I never imagined there could be so many. It was Ling's turn to look. Ling cried out, I see a bright star moving in the sky. That's a shooting star said Josie's dad. This is fun, said Ling. I really enjoy looking at the stars. I think we've seen enough of the nighttime sky, said Josie's dad. You girls can go play now. Oh, dad, can we keep looking? asked Josie. This is really fun. Yes, said Ling. We have had an adventure already and we haven't even played in the tent yet. You're right, Ling, said Josie. This has been one exciting night. The first thing the girls notice in the night sky is the crescent moon. Crescent means a sliver, a little piece of the moon like you see here. This is Venus, the evening star that you see first in the nighttime. The reason you see different parts of the moon reflecting the light from the sun is because of how the moon goes around the sun and different amounts are reflected back. You can see the white part on the moon here shows the little parts that may be reflecting back and we can only see from an angle and that's what we see. So we see the moon looking kind of like this. Sometimes we see no moon, sometimes a crescent, sometimes half or more than half, and even a full moon. And that's all because of the relationship between the sun, planet Earth, and the moon, which revolves, means goes around, the sun. The girls got to see the Big Dipper in the sky. Now it's kind of hard to see if you're not sure what to look for. Here is the Big Dipper slightly enhanced with some blue on the stars for some of them. And we get to see the shape of the handle and the dipper. And here's how it looks when someone has connected the dots for us. The North Star is a bright star in the sky. And of course, you can guess that it is in the north. 
here's another constellation. That's what we call the imaginary shapes that we see in the sky is a constellation. The Big Dipper is a constellation. And this one, Cassiopeia, is another constellation. Another amazing sight that you might see in the night sky is the Milky Way. The Milky Way is a gigantic cluster of stars um, grouped together so bright it looks as if white milk has spilled through the sky, but really it's just billions of stars clustered together and they kind of make a stripe across part of the sky like this. And it's called the Milky Way. In the story, they were lucky enough to spot a shooting star, a star that is um, looks like it's streaking through the sky and leaves a trail like this. Pretty awesome. The night sky is an amazing um, collection of things to look at, and I hope this story taught you a little bit about the night sky and got you interested in checking out all the different things. You might see the different phases of the moon or the Milky Way, or even enjoying drawing between the dots of stars to make pictures. Now that you know what all those things are in the story they're talking about, it's a great time to review the story once again and make sure you really understand everything that's happening.